So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? All part of the plan. You might be hearing Orton and Gabriel spin about how I was the weak link, but really, they were the dead weight, which is why I got rid of them. I realized I didn't need to be a part of some retread faction to get ahead. I'm bigger than that. I can win the WWE Championship on my own, and that's what I plan on doing. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on, in front of the entire WWE Universe. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, he better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. AKA, the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that, and you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on, name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, 
I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work, because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit, throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. This is going to be great in the next game. I mean, we won't use a large portion of it, but keep it up. Whoever wins this match, dinner's on me. Well, technically it's on 2K since I'm expensing everything, but it's a thought that counts. You're looking sluggish. Taco Tuesday mocap lunch is always a bad idea. Don't worry, animation will fix all your mistakes. Hit a signature move while you're at it.
Give me a finisher and hurry it up. It's almost lunch. All right, let's wrap this up soon. I just got word that our VIP guest has arrived. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show, you know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! 
I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go. This was assault, and it's all on camera. Get off of me. You haven't seen the last of me. Actually, I think we have. You're fired again. Bye. Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I will think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the... Morning, sunshine! <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never returned any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Mm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too, for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right, we're at an airport. Where to first? The loo, this coffee ran straight through me. On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. Gold rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how is that working out for you? As a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes, you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is, you can wear the wig for a bit, and then you can always take it off. At least, 
you gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me you're ready to wear a wig. Okay, fine, I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. How you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi! Suck it up! You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here, so there's no backing out now. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks the situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament. Especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself.
Thank <laughs> you.